So I've got these, these, <laughs> these, these, them, her, these, this, this, her, this, and these. is up guys <laughs> today i'm gonna show you some of my above silkies i think arguably now they're becoming um my favorite color silky that switches often <laughs> but right now it's the buff okay so buffs clearly are an obsession for me it's a problem um there is like a breed standard like the perfect buff um you know, if you're breeding like show quality and all that i have never shown my birds um i don't really have an interest in it i don't like really exposing them to other birds things like that the bird flu kind of scares me um that whole thing going around this is literally just something i do for fun i like to try and breed the prettiest birds that i can um i'm proud of them i like to share them with others um, i sell eggs and also live birds um mainly because i'm scared to death to put my babies in a box and ship them off and place them in the hands of USPS because I've seen what they do to some of my eggs sometimes and it just freaks me out to ever put a bird in a box and nothing against it. Many people have successfully shipped birds, but that's not me. Anyways, <laughs> going off on a tangent there. Um, buffs are right now my favorite color. Like I said, <laughs> I'm obsessed. Um, I really like to try and get them as dark as possible in color. I like when they have the dark, dark feet. I've had some buff come out with some very light feet. They do get darker over time. I try and take that out of my breeding program. So the main thing that people look for in like a perfect show quality buff is the dark skin, the dark eyes, darker in color, um, feathering, um, the nice tight wings. This one here is a juvenile. I just have, I'm pretty sure this one's going to be a girl just by knowing my line. Home is kind of non-existent right now. Um, got the dark eyes she opens them up you could even see i'm not sure but she's got some like feathers going on like crazy but if you could see the eyes they're darker in color um she has like very very tiny wattles coming in uh, females will have wattles um a little bit but they're just not going to be huge like the roosters um i'm thinking this might be i mean the way i'm looking right now actually the way these like hackle feathers or the way these feathers are kind of coming up here that's kind of a rooster trait um, so, I don't know, this one actually kind of has me a little bit confused. Another thing I look for that's kind of weird when I'm trying to um, sex them, especially my buff line, is I look at how thick their legs are. This one's legs are still kind of thin. Um, my boys, my buff boys, have these like giant thick legs in my birding. So, that's another thing. So, this one is kind of a question mark for me now. I'm kind of looking at the neck and I'm like, what are you doing here? You're looking a little like boyish so i don't know so another thing that i look for um with my buffs or buffs in general um are for smut now smut i will show you in a second usually it is more typical on a rooster um, roosters will get kind of smutty um, and what that means is they will get kind of like this dark coloring in their tail and sometimes in their wings this one um, i'm very proud of she or he is growing up and we don't have any darkness it's all this nice orange kind of strawish color um, if you look at the tail I mean there's a teeny tiny bit actually that I'm seeing teeny tiny bit um, but smut I actually like to keep in my brooding a little bit because it helps to keep the birds darker believe it or not it helps their skin to be darker it helps their coloring to be darker um, I have some other buffs I'll take out and show you they're just a little bit lighter and feathering um, so the smut, especially in your boys, I like to keep a teeny tiny bit of it just to keep their darkness um, in future generations coming in a little bit darker. So I'll show you what I mean. Okie doke. So you can see here, um, the one on the right is a little bit darker in color. Um, they're both very pretty. If you look at them both, you could definitely see the difference. This one is in the process of molting also, so her like down feathers are kind of showing, and those can be lighter in color as well. That's kind of characteristic of all silkies. I'm trying to achieve in my buff line just a little bit darker coloration. Um, by the way, I don't know why when I hold them, they all like hunch forward and look like they're super uncomfortable. I promise they are comfortable. I promise I'm not hurting them. It just looks kind of weird, um, especially when I'm holding like um, two or more birds. 
I kind of tend to hold them like this and then they like slump over and then I look back at the video I'm like what what are they doing so I promise they're okay they're just chilling but I mean they both have the dark skin but like I said really trying to achieve the darker color if you look at this girl right here she is gorgeous um, she has a nice little crest. Her ears are actually really pretty. I'm looking at those right now. Really, really pretty ears. Um, she's just a little bit lighter than I like, and she does have some smut in her wings. Um, you can kind of see back here. You can see the smut along the wing. Um, her feet are a little bit lighter than I like. She's in need of a nail trim, and she's got some poopy feet, but her feet are a little bit lighter. Um, you can see her comb is a little bit lighter, almost kind of like red, mulberry-ish. Um, but she's a little bit lighter. She's not in my breeding program just because of that lightness. Um, but this is the lightness that I try to offset with having a little bit of smuff, smuff, smut in some of my boys. So by smut, I'm not talking anything like absolutely creepy. I'm talking about just a little bit. If you look at his feathering, he does have this little bit of darkness. Um, it's like dark brown. You can see like a little bit of it. He has a tiny bit in his wings. Um, that's just all that I'm really looking for to really just kind of help to maintain that darkness in my line. You're doing it too. You're like hunching over. And we have a paint boy making a debut in the buff video. Say hello. He says hi. So next we have a satin buff. You can see um, the feathering is completely different than that silky feathering. It's the smooth chicken feathering. Um, there is a tiny bit of smut in the back. Um, but I'm very excited. I'm not sure if I'm going to just keep him or her in my fun pen or kind of introduce it as a feathering option in my main buff pen. Maybe eventually I will start a fun buff pen. That'd be kind of fun, have the regular um, buffs. So let me know what you think I should do with that because I don't know, so many options. Okay, bye. Run away! <laughs> Alrighty, so next one is another one that I'm not sure like what pen I'm gonna put him or her in. I'm actually leaning towards a rooster. I mean, look at that comb. That super U shape. It's not like a fact or anything, but I have noticed in raising silkies that usually around like this age, so probably like five weeks or so, when they start to get that U shape in their comb, that usually means that it's gonna be a boy and the girls will have more of a V. This one is a frizzle satin. So same feathering type that we just had out, but this one's frizzled. So super fun. Not sure if I'm just gonna put these in like my fun pen, um, create maybe a buff fun pen, or just put them in my main buff pen for now. All right guys, so lastly, um, I get a lot of questions about like what you can breed to a buff. A lot of people start up these like projects, like calico. I know they use buff for calico. So I don't know exactly what they breed buff to to create calico, but I know a lot of people start up calico project pens and they use buff for that. But the best thing really to do is just to breed buff to buff. Um, and look for the traits that you're looking for and go with that. So start with what you have, look for the best traits. You really want nice tight wings, um, the good coloring, the good eye color, um, and smut, smut's a big deal. Um, not everyone, some people are completely like no smut at all. Um, I like a little smut because I've noticed that it helps me to maintain a darker coloration in the offspring. So completely, um, just up to you and your own preference. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.